Hi, Grade 4s. Um, I'm going to explain Topic 5, Unit 2, Animal Shelters are Structures. Okay, some of us did this work, but most of you were absent when we did this. Okay, Topic 5, Unit 2, Animal Shelters and Structures. So we start again with a summary block. So we have a little block for keywords. We only have two keywords. Here we have a block that we're going to look at shapes, sizes and materials. Then we're going to have a big block for frame structures and a block for shell structures. Okay, so let's start. Okay, today's goal, animal shelters are structures. And we have two types of structures, frame and shell. Okay, two new keywords, uh, rigid, which is stiff, does not move or bend. And then hollow, it, it has only empty space inside. Okay, so if you look at the example of the summary, there's the keywords rigid and hollow. Okay, so let's move along. Okay, so we're quickly going to look at frame structures. So animal shelters with frame structures. Frame structures made from rigid parts joined together. Okay, so here we have a couple of frame structures. We have a spider's web, different parts joined together. Here we have a chicken's coop, also different parts joined together. Sheep pen, dark kennel, bird's cage, horse stable, barn, and then the terrarium. Okay, so it's different parts joined together. Okay, if you look carefully, most of these um, shelters have like corners and are like triangles and squares okay there we have a little bit of a circle but it's still different parts forming triangles okay so all of these are examples of frame structures okay now we're going to look at shell structures okay a shell structure is hollow with a strong outer layer that hold itself Okay, so there, snail shell is a shell structure. Okay, hollow tree, shell structure. See, it is a hard outer layer and it's hollow inside. Okay, here we have a weaver's nest. Outer layer, hollow inside. Here we have a swallow's nest. Hard outer layer, hollow inside. The layer holds itself up. A burrow. Same thing, hard outer layer, hollow inside. We have a fish bowl, hard outer layer, hollow inside, and then a termite mount. Now, if you look at these shelters, you will see it's most of them are roundish in shape. They don't have corners, they don't have triangles and squares, they are round, and it's a hollow. Uh, inside and it's a hard outer layer that holds itself up. Okay, so our goal is to identify different animal shelters as shell structures or as frame structures. Okay, let's quickly look at our summary here at the bottom. A frame structure made from rigid parts joined together and I gave you an example of a frame a structure, a little picture to help you. And then we have our examples. And I found these examples in the picture. Over here we have our shell structures is hollow with strong outer layer that holds itself up. And I made a little almost like an igloo, a half circle. Okay, a dome. Okay, then here I have the examples that I've got and I found the examples in the pictures. Okay, so that is what we've done here. Over here... I just wanted you to think a little bit if you have to describe animal shelters. We're going to look at the shape of the shelter. We're going to look at the size. Is it big? Is it medium? Or is it small? And then what materials they use to build it. Okay, so it's wood, glass, clay, metals, grass, plastic, sticks, rocks. And there's many more other materials just like here that there's many more other shapes. That's only a couple of examples. Okay. So this is your summary for Topic 5, Unit 2, Animal Shelters are Structures. Thank you.